Dr. Levy here. So with baseball season upon us, I thought this would be a good opportunity to go over MRI of the elbow, show what a common elbow injury looks like, compare with a more normal looking MRI of the elbow. And so with that, I will get started. So this is a, a normal MRI of the elbow. Specifically, this is an MRI arthrogram. So an arthrogram is where we inject contrast uh, into the joint, in this case, the elbow, and then the patient gets an MRI after. The um, reason we do the arthrogram part is it enables us to better see some of the smaller structures around the elbow, specifically ligaments. And in this case, uh, the concern was for an ulnar collateral ligament tear. So some anatomy, this is a coronal image. So we're looking um, more proximal or superior towards the patient's shoulder here. This is more distal um, towards the forearm here. And here's the elbow um, here. So we're looking at the ulnohumeral joint here, the radiocapitellar joint, the proximal radioulnar joint. These are the joints of the elbow. And again, the reason we were doing this study was to look for an ulnar collateral ligament tear um, so ligaments on MRI are typically black, they're, they're dark, and ligaments hold uh, or, or give um, stability to joints. And in this case, with the throwing athlete, especially in the late acceleration phase of throwing, this ligament has a large amount of stress on it. And um, if there's too much stress or too much repetitive stress, this ligament can tear. Um, Ligament, for the most part, looks intact, maybe a little bit of fraying, but for the most part, the ligament is intact, so no injury here. Compare that with this patient. So um, similar uh, orientation here. We're looking more proximally. This is more distally. And um, again, here is the ulna. Here's the radius. Here's the humerus. Hopefully, you can appreciate this is black or more normal looking ligament proximally, more distally. Again, the ligament is black and we see this gap in between, right? This area of, uh, of um, uh, more bright signal, white signal. And this is the contrast, which is exiting through the site of a ulnar collateral ligament tear. We also see partial thickness tearing, a little bit of, uh, or, or low grade partial thickness tearing of the common flexor tendon. So these structures are often injured together in pitchers. Um, this is also known as the flexor pronator mass. And so this is a patient who's going to be a surgical candidate. Again, this is a um, competitive uh, high-level pitcher and uh, patient was uh, experiencing significant pain, heard a pop. And so we can see that this is a full thickness UCL tear. Um, the surgery to repair this uh, ligament is known as Tommy John surgery. It was popularized in the 1970s by Dr. Frank Job, who um, was the first orthopedic surgeon to uh, successfully repair uh, an ulnar collateral ligament tear. Uh, Tommy John was a pitcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers, and he was able to make a comeback. Um, the surgery involves taking a tendon from uh, uh, from the, the hand and wrist, which is known as the palmaris longus. Um, that's harvested, and then it ends up uh, being tunneled into the medial epicondyle and then more distally into the sublime tubercle here, and um, pitchers can come back. Um, lots of major league pitchers have come back and had very successful careers. Hope you found it interesting, and until next time, be well.